Hello guys, welcome to the first video tutorial on PostgreSQL database tutorial for beginners. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install PostgreSQL in your Windows operating system. And uh, what is Postgre uh, database? Postgre database is a open source object relational database, which is very popular uh, amongst uh, developer and uh, the open source community. So it's an open source uh, database management system. So uh, let's see how we can download and install Postgre. So just go to your favorite browser and just search for Postgre SQL there. And the first link you will find here is Postgre SQL. So just click that link. And in here you need to go to downloads and you need to choose whatever operating system you have it has installation for bsd linux mac os solaris and windows right now i'm running uh windows operating system so i will go to windows click windows and in here the graphical installer for postgre include postgre sql server and pg admin 3 so we need this one so i will just Click this and now we are in download area. So in here we need to uh, download this Postgre SQL 9.3.1 installer. Okay, so just click this one and in here you will find different uh, operating system downloads and different flavors of operating systems uh, for downloads. So, if you have uh, Windows, just choose these Windows uh, uh, downloads. And depending upon the flavor of your Windows, it can be 64 bit or 32 bit. How can you check if you have a 32 bit or 64 bit operating system? Just go to your uh, start button here, right click your computer, and go to the properties. And in here, you will find the system in the system type the bit i have 64 bit operating system right so i will download this 64 bit operating system for download this for 64 bit operating system and right now the latest download is 9.3.4 so i will download this download this and the download will start So you see here download has started it will take a couple of minutes because it's about 50 MB file so in the meantime I will uh, explain you why and where you can use uh, PostgreSQL you can use uh, this PostgreSQL database first of all what is a database database is a organized collection of data so you can uh, use this PostgreSQL with uh, many languages like C, C++, Java, .NET, Perl or, or any other popular language uh, which you can imagine you can connect this Postgre uh, database and you can uh, you know keep the record of your whatever data using those language in Postgre uh, SQL database and you can you know uh, create a database management system or the software which depend upon some database uh, you can create it with the other language and this postgre sql okay so our uh, download is completed i will click this exe file here and will start my installation wizard So the installation wizard it has been started. Extracting the file. And now we are starting the setup. So just click next. And this is the default uh, location where your Postgre will uh, be installed so just leave it as default if you have 
enough strong reason to change the location so I will leave it as default and this is the data directory where your all the data will be saved so I will also leave it as default and in here this is the important step here you need to give the password which you want to set to open uh, your database connection so choose the password you can remember and remember this password for uh, the PostgreSQL database I will give uh, the password and retype my password and I will click next and this is the default port on which your Postgre server will listen so this is the default port which is 5432 uh, so I will leave it as default click next and this will be default local and setup is now ready to begin installation so I will just click next and my installation has started okay so I was talking about the databases Postgre one of is one of the most popular open source databases in the recent time uh, uh, one of the most popular relation da relational database is also MySQL and it's uh, uh, in the recent time it has become more popular than Postgre but the Postgre is also uh, very popular amongst uh, developer community and uh, it's a server based database some of the databases are not server based what is the meaning of server based uh, is that there is a server where your database or your database data will reside and you need to connect to that server in order to fetch the data from the server it can be on your computer it can be on the some other computer and you can connect to that computer via some networking tool and then you can uh, you know fetch the data or uh, save the data in that database using that server on the other hand there are some serverless uh, databases like SQL and for those you don't need uh, any uh, servers they are you know local databases so you can transfer them from one place to another or you can copy them from one place to another without worrying for the server but Postgres SQL is a server based database okay so still it's taking some time so some more uh, uh, details on Postgre uh, SQL as I have told you uh, that Postgre you can connect it with the languages like uh, Java C++ or C or .NET C Sharp Visual Basic and the basic uh, you know need of this uh, database is to maintain and or uh, keep the data so for example there is some application in which you want to keep the employee information or class information school class information you can keep that information in the database and whenever you need uh, the information you can fetch it from the database so that's why we use databases now our database uh, installation is complete so finish this one you can even uncheck this but I will leave it as checked and I will click finished and in here it's you know it's asking for uh, the server I will leave it as default this one next downloading applications these are add-ons uh, which you can add for different uh, functionality but this we can do later also so I want to keep as basic as possible this one so you know you can choose some some uh, drivers database drivers from here and the server whatever you want but yeah most of them I will leave as uh, unchecked because I can do it later this is 
just the basic installation I want. Okay. And next. And once this will complete, I will be ready for the installation. Okay. So next. So this is some stake builder, it's downloading, but the basic installation of the Postgre is complete. So I will skip installation because I have checked that stake builder download and install. I don't want to do this right now because our basic installation of Postgre is uh, over. So I will skip installation and click next and finish. So once you have downloaded uh, this Postgre SQL, you will be able to see this PG admin 3 in your start menu here. Otherwise, if you don't see this, you can go to all programs and search for this Postgre SQL, whatever version you have downloaded. And in here also, you will be able to see this post PG admin 3 tool. So we will start this. And in here, it has this database right so we can refresh our database or connect to the database and in here you need to give the password you have you know set up while you are installing Postgres so I will give the same password and I will save the password and click OK and click OK so now I'm connected to my Postgre, you know, local host server. Okay, and this has uh, some default database. So the, in here, in the database section, we are going to create the databases, and we are going to, uh, you know, create tables inside databases, and create schemas there. Okay, so you see here, a database can contain. Uh, different objects but the most important object of this uh, database is the tables here and this we will see how to create the Postgre database and create tables inside those uh, databases and how to query those databases in the further videos but yeah I want to show you the basic installation in this video so uh, that's why I have shown you that so stay tuned for the next video on PostgreSQL tutorial and till the next time please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.